young people press on toward the goal and win the prize. It's the worst of going to win the prize. Take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation soul by soul. I'm ashamed to claim the gospel of hope. This is the vision, achievers, and mission for Christ. An achiever in mission looks forward to the future God has made. He presses on toward the goal for the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Now let's all stand up and let's worship our wonderful Jesus. My name is Pastoria Tessa and welcome to another episode of Straight Line Thinking. So young people, what goals did God put in your heart for this coming 2021? Have you written them down already? For those of you who haven't written their goals yet, now is the time to do it. But before you do, come and join us as we ask some of our AIM leaders from all around the country. Let's go! Question number one. What is the importance of setting goals? 
Setting goals is an acquisition of knowledge wherein we practice on how to manage and to organize our time. And also, it motivates us to finish our goals, yet it helps us to focus more our attention on it. You will achieve and accomplish something. As we set our goal, we are trying to accomplish things one at a time, which is more realistic than trying to compress and accomplish all of these things at a single deadline. For me, the importance of setting goals is that it helps us to keep track of our plans in our life. It gives us tasks that we need to accomplish every day and at the same time, it gives us the motivation to do the said tasks and gives us some direction in our life. As it says in Proverbs 16 verse 19, The heart of man plans his ways, but the Lord established his path. Question number two. Was there ever a goal that you did not meet? What did you do? I think it would be my oratorical competition that was led by Banco Central ng Pilipinas and Department of Education. I wasn't able to win that competition. However, it made me realize something. That in order to achieve things, setting goal is really a vital part. So there were times in my life that I wasn't able to achieve the goals that I wanted to do and it wasn't up to my expectations. So what I did is that I planned another set of goals and tried to achieve them in the best of my ability. In this way, I would be able to compensate for what I wasn't able to do in the first set of goals. Yes, of course, there is one time that I did not meet my goal because before, I don't do organizing. So, however, what did I do is that I retrieved that moment that I should stand setting goals and I asked God for guidance as well. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 says, For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. How does this verse speak to you? This verse means that there is nothing that I should fear or be afraid of. Because I know that all of God's plans are never delayed. And all of His promises are yes and amen. And it will all come to pass. And that it just needs to wait for the right time. And all we have to do is wait for it. For all of His good plans to be fulfilled in our life. Um, this verse speaks to me as everything is under control by His perfect timing. Because not all the times our goals or aims, it hasten or in a hurry. We undergo first uh, in a process to tighten our faith. God makes sure that uh, everything He plans for us is in perfect timing. From this verse, I conclude that all things has its appointed time or deadline. Like what we always hear, time is gold, time is important, thus we are not to delay things in our lives. When time passes by, we cannot take it back, nor we cannot go back in our past in order to accomplish things that we wasn't able to finish. Alright, and thank you for that wonderful answers, young people. But before we end, please be reminded of what Philippians 3 verse 13 to 14 says. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Hope that you learned something today from this week's episode of Straight Line Thinking. Let us know your takeaway is by leaving a comment in the comment section below this video. Amers, press on toward your goal. I am Pesoria Tessa. My name is Andy and we are Achievers in Mission. Hi Amers, I'm Rosoriam and this is Amplified. Merry Christmas to all! And tonight, let me encourage you with this verse. Philippians 3 verse 14 I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And in other translation, it says Philippians 3 verse 13 KJV I press on toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In NLT, it says I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. So Paul here has used the illustration of a runner 
who focuses on the goal ahead of him. This prevents distractions and stumbling. And Paul's spiritual goal is stated directly here. Sabi niya, the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And previously in verse 13, it says, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining toward to what lies ahead. So Paul's focus is on the future, not prior mistakes, not your, not his past, nor his enemies in the past, or nor his achievements. It's a person cannot move ahead if their their are their thoughts or their vision is focused on the past, right? Paul has a clear goal, being in heaven with the Lord. He wants to do the will of God. That is calling. And he looks forward to the ultimate reward for his faithful service. And this prize is to be with Christ forever. Now, we press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward goal, call of God in Christ Jesus. We press here is the yoko no, in Greek or the yoko, which means pursue, pursuing, run after, seek after, aimer. We earnestly seek after or run after toward the goal to win the prize of the upward call. We run the race to win the prize. Young people, today God is telling you to push through, to push forward, to move forward towards the life that He has prepared for you. And it's beautiful. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you. I know this. I know you are very familiar with this verse declares the lord plans for the for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope amor don't be discouraged god is not yet done with your life you will end in praise philippians 1 verse 6 nlp and i am certain that god who began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to His eternal glory in Christ, will Himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Who among you likes that? God will restore, God will confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Paul simply writes about the goal of pursuing Christ until uh, he meets with God after this life. No? He said, press on towards meeting Jesus face to face in heaven. And we all want that. A very satisfying, perfect life with Jesus Christ our Lord. And this calling, this verse, it's uh, in Greek, it's klysis. Or klaisis, K L A Y S I S, which refers to God inviting all people to receive the, His gift of salvation with all His blessings that go with it. And it's really an awesome experience to be called by God to His wonderful kingdom, to His wonderful glory, participating with everything that is. Uh, miraculously being done in his kingdom seeing miracles seeing healing receiving uh, the gift of salvation seeing people getting saved life being transformed by the gospel think with me imagine the faces of those people that you love your family your friends your dear classmates your colleagues well, you would want to get uh, to see them to heaven, right? You don't. You 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 want them to experience a life with God because you know exactly how it is to have a wonderful life with Jesus, to have a relationship with God. So, young people, aimers, share the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ. Aimer, Paul's teaching was not to look back at the past, but instead. To focus on what God can do today. 
and in the days ahead to live for Christ until we meet Him face to face. Turn to God while there is time. Instead of pursuing the world and everything in it, enjoying a very momentary pleasure, seek after God. Run after real life with Jesus Christ. Offer your life to Him. Turn away from sin. Be grateful. Be humble. God loves you so much. Amor, press on. Win the prize. The prize of having eternal life. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you and praise you for what you have done and what you are continually doing in the lives of these wonderful young people. Thank you for the, this gift of life and thank you for encouraging us to press on towards the goal of winning the prize, of, of having that calling, of obeying your word. Thank you for inviting us to this wonderful relationship of knowing you of experiencing your goodness, your love, oh God, your favor. Thank you, Jesus, that you will help our young people experience you even at their homes while they are having online classes. Lord, they might experience your goodness even as they are in a very uh, secluded place, Lord, as they yield their hearts to you, as they as they surrender their lives to you, Lord, they will just completely experience your reality, your faithfulness, your goodness, O oh God, and it will bring glory to your wonderful name. Thank you, Jesus, that as we press on toward the goal, we will win the prize. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Always remember Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. We are achievers in mission. See you again tomorrow at 6 p.m.